Look what coming in today. Friggin' right they did. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsa's YouTube channel. I think I might put the uh, timing cover back on tonight because I have stuff everywhere and it's driving me freaking crazy. Got the pack springs as you've seen there at the beginning, so that's not today, but that will be coming up. We'll be able to put a uh, head back together. Just, uh, I gotta pick up some more brake clean to clean the cylinder heads out and stuff like this. Before I put this back on, I'm gonna take these bolts back out and I'm gonna put a little Loctite on them. And I know some of you are probably gonna comment and say, don't do it, but I'm doing it. That's all there is to it. I'm doing it, that's all there is freaking to it. That will make me feel better. Because I really don't trust. No, I don't know, man. This thing ain't gonna blow sky high. Gordo. Oh yeah, Gordo can't comment anymore because he's negative. I forgot about that. Sorry about that, Gord. Apologize. Zero tolerance for negativity on the Dirty Old Bilso channel, just so you know. You wanna be negative, go somewhere else. Don't have nothing nice to say? Don't say it at all. Speaking of that, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button too, why wouldn't you? And check out the merch. Freaking right, you better. I sold two cups, boys, girls, peoples. I'm on a roll. Oh, wait. Not really. So we're gonna yank this back off like so. And we'll just slide her back off. I got her all lined up, dot to dot. Make sure you line up your chains, Jim. We'll just set this down here like this. Actually, we'll take it right out of here for a minute because I wanna do the other one too. So now that that's back off, we're gonna pull these back off. Give them a little lockish tight too. So we'll pair this out like so. We'll give her a wipe. Now just remember, I'm only using blue Loctite, so it's not like it's never gonna friggin' come off. Captain, we'll put that back in. Decent, next, hey next. Pull that one off. That shouldn't be that tight. It's only 18 foot pounds for crying out loud. Chain's 22, these are 18. We'll pull this out. Put some on there. Carol said some, not a ton. Pull this one out. Stop some on here. Do it. Fill that back in. And continue. So I've been tinkering around on here for quite a while now. Just tinkering. You know what I mean? Like painting this and that and the other thing. You know, it's not the greatest paint job, but hey, you'll never see it, Jim. I'm thinking to myself, God damn, I'm tired. So I go in the house to wash the hands and I look at the clock at 7.30. What's really going on? <laughs> you know your old wit. You know you're old when you can't remember what time it is anymore. Captain, then my 10 mil's missing. Fuck. What the frig? So we'll take this bad boy up to 18. If I can't friggin' see. I can't see, dick. There's 10. 10 is 15. 16, 17, 18. There we go. So we'll slap this on and we'll give her a little torque action. Decent. 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 There we go. So they're in. So now I'll put the timing chain on a bobber thing back on. Now I know what a lot of these are going to say. I can't believe you're not putting a new timing chain on that friggin' engine. Well, to tell you the truth, no I'm not. And you know why? I'll show you why. Give me a minute. Why well, wouldn't you give me a minute? Okay, so I gotta look for my dots, which is right, right there. There we go. Dots lined up, as you see. So, the reason why I'm not putting a new timing chain on is, I still can't show you until you get these in. Hold on, we're almost there. 22 foot pounds. There's 20. Oh, nice socket. Socket's dickered, Captain. What's really going on? My socket's broke. What the hell is broke that on? The dirty socket's broke, the other dirty socket's missing. What about 10 mils, Jim? Oh, thank God. I don't know how you get so many broken friggin' sockets. So, the reason why I not changed this chain is they say if you can't pick it up or wiggle it on the pulley, you're good. Because what actually wears out on these is the teeth. The teeth get stretched. So if, if you got a tight chain on here, you don't have to worry about it. this. Little bit of play here is normal, even with a new chain. After running it for 20 minutes, you got that much play in them. So, just relax. I did a lot of reading. If uh, 50, 60 people on the internet are wrong, then I'm wrong. But if they're not, then I'm right. 
So there you go. So we're all set that way. So now we got to take this bolt back out because that's what I used to turn the old engine roosting over. And of course I lost that too. So we get this bolt out, maybe. There it goes. We'll grab blade and we'll clean that gasket off. Always make sure this is clean. Captain. Now what I use is a razor blade as you can see and it works pretty damn good. Put on the side and hear the old scratch of rooski. Now of course I'm gonna touch the old paint job up here. Just gonna make sure you have a good seal. All right, so that looks pretty damn good. Pretty smooth, nice, nice, nice. So now we're just gonna wipe that down. Now, back in the day when I used to do this all the time, I would never ever think about putting a gasket on without silicone or something on it. But nowadays, I guess you don't need that stuff, Jim. Probably doesn't hurt to put it on if you do have it, but I'm gonna go with what they say to do. So hopefully they're right. There we go, nice and clean. I know it doesn't look clean, but it's, it is clean, trust me. So, we'll grab the gasket and the bolts, and we'll slap the sucker back on. Oh, look at that! Stickers, Jim! So we need eight bolts. Beautiful, I already cleaned this up the other day, so it's good to go. And we need to figure out which way the gasket goes, which is this way. And then we'll put a bolt in her, just to hold her in place. And a bolt in her, just to hold her in place. We'll bring her in like this. Oh, look at that paint job, Jim. And we'll get two started for now. So now there is a lineup tool for this, but she should be fine. All right, so, Loctite. Some guys swear by the, uh, the lineup tools on these things, and some guys say, ah. Unfortunately, without buying one, I'm one of the guys that's gonna have to say, ah. Yeah. So we'll get that one started, like so. And then we'll just carry on doing that for now. I'll tell you, these gaskets have come a long way, that's for damn sure. So just so you know, I'm not tightening them up yet because I want to check the gap balancer I got because I'm not putting that balancer back on. I got, we're going to be ordering a new one because I'm going to try to take all the four three accessories and make them work on this front of this engine. That way I can use, keep everything where it is. So. That's going to be kind of a little chore on its own, but I think we should be able to do that together, no problem. With all your great comments down below and everything like that to help me, it's going to work out pretty good, I think. I think we'll get her together, dude. So I'm just going to yank these back out and give them a touch up, because of course, remember I told you these were just to line her up. People are going to comment about my Loctite technique. I know they are, but I love it. Okay, comment all you want. It's a peace of mind for me. Now that it's snugged up, we're going to get the balancer and just kind of push it into place and see how far out we are. I don't want to push it in because I don't want to wreck the seal on this old piece of crap balancer. But this will at least tell me if we're close. I think we should be pretty good right there. Snug a couple up so they don't move around. Actually, we'll snug them all up so they don't move around. And then we'll go ahead and give her the old torque. What's the torque specs on the time chain cover? Anybody know? Leave a comment below. So these are 18 footy pounds. So we'll bring this old back down here. There we go. Let's give her the old one too. There we go. So now we'll go all the way around. There you go. Feels good? Feels good. Perfect. Friggin' right. So take the torques off of the old doodad. Remember, always leave her at zero, Jim. There you go, eh? Now we'll move on to the back one we will. There you go, she is done. Rear pin, new seals on the crank and on the block. And at the front, we got the new seal at the crank and at the block. We got the new camshaft in, we get Loctite, and we're happier than pig and shit because we know it's safe. But stay tuned, hopefully next time on the Dirty Old Bilso Show, we'll be doing a spring installation on one of the heads. We'll get one head done first, and then we'll do the other head. So stick around for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell bar button. Why wouldn't you? Love y'all, and until next time, you know what to do for now. <laughs>